Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. The loft command is one of the most visually interesting commands in BricsCAD. Its purpose is to join 2D and 3D shapes with a solid, and the solid can have a pretty interesting look. Here I've got three ellipses, and now I'm going to use the loft command on them. Choose each one. Now I'll hold down the control key and move the mouse around by holding down the middle mouse button just to get a view of what it looks like all over, almost like a stingray, doesn't it? And I like to operate in the uh, shades of gray visual style because it makes the 3D solid look the best. Now there are a bunch of options and I'm going to show you the ones for the in, under settings. So I'm going to enter S for settings in the loft command. You can see that the current option is smooth. I'm going to change it to ruled so you can see what the difference is. Enter in R for ruled. What BricsCAD does here is join the three ellipses with straight lines on the edges of the uh, loft. So I'm going to switch back to smooth and you can see how it curves. I'm now going to uh, put in the normal option and choose the sub option of all and what happens here is that BricsCAD approaches each of the three ellipses at a 90 degree angle so right in there it's 90 degrees now you don't have to have 90 degrees I am, you can also have other angles and that's where the draft angles option comes in so I'm going to specify a uh, first angle of uh, 45 degrees and you can see now how it bulges as it comes out at a 45 degree angle. You can even have negative angles. So let me put in a uh, first angle of negative 45 degrees. And now you can see that it starts out in the opposite direction and then curves around back. You can also place lofts between the faces of 3D objects. Here I've got a box and a pyramid. So let me enter in the loft command. I'll pick uh, this face of the pyramid, hold down the control key to see this face of the box, and uh, there we go. Now I'll go back into settings and uh, make the changes. So there's what ruled looks like. Doesn't look too different. Let's try normal, all. You have it coming off the triangle of the pyramid and the square of the box at right angles. And then uh, let's go into draft angles and change that first angle to zero and that looks quite different let's try the second angle which would be the box end and change that to minus 45 and that also looks quite different so i'm going to hold down the control key and move it around so you can have a look at what this unusual shape is like so that's some of the fun you can have using the loft command Trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.